danger of wearing a mask. The prophetic, building souls in the Lord, bringing souls to the Lord. The present pandemic is a season of testing for everyone. People are forced to make adjustments to the way they live their day-to-day -day lives. One such adjustment is to wear a mask. Wearing a mask is now the new normal. We are told to wear a mask to protect ourselves and others from the COVID-19 virus. On the one hand, we are protecting ourselves from contracting the virus from someone if the person is a carrier. On the other hand, we are protecting others from contracting it from us if we are carriers. In essence, wearing a mask is protecting us and others from danger. However, wearing a mask is also exposing us to danger. One, it is preventing us from breathing properly. Two, it is hiding our identity. I was in the supermarket when I heard a lady said to another lady, is that you? I hardly recognize you. The mask sure hide your face. Wearing of masks reminds me of an occasion when Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. He was cautioning them against the influence of the hypocritical lifestyle of the Pharisees. Jesus was very hostile towards hypocrisy. On one occasion, he pronounced seven woes on the scribes and Pharisees, and in each instant he said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! The word hypocrite comes from the Greek word hypocrite, which means stage actor. In those days, stage actors wore a mask to play various roles. The mask would hide their true identity while they play the role of various characters. So spiritually, hypocrisy is considered like wearing a mask. A hypocrite is a person who is wearing a mask. Such a person is not their true self. They are playing a role and hiding their true self. Wearing a mask is not the normal for Christians. There are serious dangers to wearing a mask. One, a mask serves as a barrier to your heart, the real you. Wearing a mask is similar to putting up a front, pretending and hiding your true feelings while displaying something else. So a person who is unhappy will put up the front that he is happy. God wants us to unmask ourselves to him and not pretend. He wants us to give him access to our hearts. It doesn't matter what the issue is. He can deal with it and he wants to deal with it. The word of God says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit on a contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. You will notice that it is your spirit or heart he wants. He wants it broken and contrite, open, 
honest and repentant. The previous verse says, For you do not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You take no pleasure in burnt offerings. Sacrifices and burnt offerings are our gifts and service to God. He does not want these in place of our hearts. Many believers cover and hide themselves in their service to God. They wear their service as masks while they are suffering inside. It is the same way some people of the world hide themselves behind their money, career, material things, etc. In the end, some will end up on drugs, with broken marriages, and eventually end their lives in suicide. While it is not spiritually healthy to wear masks, I am sometimes sympathetic and understanding towards believers for wearing a mask around other Christians. My years of experience in church have led me to a conclusion on this matter. They wear masks because some Christians are very condemning and judgmental. These condemning believers are also wearing masks because they are masking their sins with false spirituality. Saints, we must remember that sin is sin, fault is fault, we all sin and we all are false. As fellow Christians, we are called to correct, chasten, comfort and be calm with people with faults. We are never to condemn. Number two, a mask hides and stifles your true identity and potential in God. When Moses received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, his face was radiant with the glory of God. The people were afraid and could not look at his face because it was shining so bright. So he had to cover his face with a veil. By putting on the mask, Moses was hiding the glory and the potential of God in him. He was not hiding anything bad. He was covering up something good. The Word of God says, We are not like Moses, who would put a veil over his face to prevent the Israelites from seeing the glory. It goes on to say, Whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil or mask is taken away. God wants his children to unmask. Many believers are wearing the mask of fear and false humility. These masks are preventing their true God-given identity and potential to radiate and shine for others to see. The Word of God says, No one lights a candle and puts it under a bushel, masks it. Instead, he sets it on a lampstand and masks it, so those who enter can see the light. Hypocrisy and wearing of masks will prevent you from carrying out your God-given assignment to be a light to the world. When Jesus told his disciples, Beware of the leaven of the scribes and Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, 
he went on to say. For there is nothing covered that will not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which you have spoken in the air in closets shall be proclaimed on the house tops. When we fail to witness, walk as believers, and let the light in us shine, we are wearing masks. We are walking in hypocrisy. We are not being our true self and allowing our true potential to be released and revealed. God has not given us the spirit of fear. The righteous are as bold as a lion. Number three, a mask prevents you from receiving the glory and blessings of God into your life. The word of God says, but we all with unveiled on mass face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. When we wear masks or walk in hypocrisy, we are closing our hearts and lives from receiving the glory and blessings from God. God is releasing blessings every day. We must unmask ourselves of false humility and fear to receive them. I can't help but notice when we are in church and you tell people to hold up their hands and receive the blessings or put their hands on where they are having a problem, some of these persons are in dire need of the blessings, yet fail to remove the mask and raise their hands or lay their hands. When our faces are unmasked, we are able to look in the mirror of the world, see who we are in Christ, take a hold of what the Lord has for us by faith. The more we look, the more we receive, and the more our lives are transformed, we are changed from glory to glory. Even Moses knew that when he stood before God, he had to remove the veil and mask himself to receive. The word says, but whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would remove the veil until he came out. Let us ask God to remove any mask that may be in our lives today. The mask is stifling us. We need to unmask ourselves so that we can breathe freely. We breathe freely by 1. Inhaling and receiving His presence into our lives. Let us get rid of the pretense and give Him free access to our hearts and the innermost parts of our lives. He wants to heal all our sorrows and pains. Exhaling the glory and light that is in us so that we can be a blessing to others. We are called to show forth His glory and be light in darkness. When we are healed, we can bring healing to others. Three, inhaling the blessings 
he wants to put in our hearts and lives. God has great blessings for us. We must get rid of everything preventing them from entering our lives. We are made to breathe freely. We must breathe freely. We will breathe freely. We can breathe. I pray that God would remove everything that is masking and preventing you from walking in your true identity in Christ. May you rise to your full potential by His grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. May you be the light you are meant to be and impact your environment to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, Amen.